in the second half where we were missing in the first. I was losing some silly balls, uh, trying to play out, which is something that today we came here to Nashville to no, no negotiate it and, and try to do our ways. So that's um, uh, identity and personality. But uh, they, they were uh, playing defensively and get some counters, which is very dangerous for us. The second half, we were uh, much better. We were smarter on containing those counters. But um, but most important is that we have that initiative to go out front, look for the equalizer, and, and even we wanted more. And the last five, six minutes, uh, they 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 throw a lot of bodies to us, and then we needed to reinforce our uh, defense. And it gives you a sensation that they were on top of us, but I think it was just that piece uh, of the game. So uh, it's a good point for the boys. A good a good game. I'm I'm content with uh, the effort. Um, so so good for the boys. We controlled the counters there. They were waiting in the first half. They set the team in the middle third, uh, Julia, to wait and force us to make a mistake. And then they they attack us with speed. In the second half, I, th I thought we controlled that. And our building and our elaboration in the middle was smarter. And uh, I think we gained some territory during the game too. I right? saw so the team position it, position it better and be closer to their backs and creating options. And uh, when they wanted to come up from that pressure, uh, they couldn't. And that was the best part of the, of the game. I think that uh, probably 30, 35 minutes in the second half was a highlight for us. Uh, I think he, you know, normally Antonio wins those balls in the air because his size and his timing, uh, he's very dominant on the air. Uh, needed to give uh, some direction and improve his contact with the ball. And Jose Maria Bazan, uh, our assistant coach, which is some some uh, the one he take care of the of that work. He's spending a lot of time with them. He's trying to reinforce those uh, actions. And uh, today they get rewarded. By, by, by a, a beautiful goal and important goal as well. So he's not just making contact, but I think he's uh, now finding the net, which is important. Uh, Sylvester is doing a great effort on trying to adjust himself to the league, to the tempo of Major League Soccer, to his teammates, to the model of the game. I have said this numerous times, and we wanted to speed that up and just shorten the timing for that adjusting. Uh, but sometimes uh, we need to be patient. I think he's understanding what is what are the demands of the game here in the league and what are the demands in our team too. And today was a good reflect of, uh, of that, that he's absorbing that information and he's putting him in, 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 the, in the field uh, for the benefit of the team. It's, it's, I think he did well today. I saw, I saw him more flashy. I saw him more dangerous in attack. Uh, he created two clear chances in the, sec in the first half. And in the second half, I think he was a couple more. So he's a player. He scored goals. And uh, we, 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 we had faith on his development. Joey is a player. He always there. He's always there. Uh, He's asking, working, trying to improve, uh, doesn't get much minutes. And then you saw him today that he's ready. I, I think the progression of Joey today and Mason uh, just given us two young players that can last very long in the club and the competition. I think he did well. I like his personality. I like his range. He's making decision is uh, faster. Uh, his physicality is up to the league. Uh, I'm glad to see Joey growing that way. Uh, I think he did well as well.